Alright guys, my name is Metagoblin, and today I'm doing the same as I did yesterday, re-releasing a couple of my just older YouTube videos. Um, apologies if I'm not getting a full video out today, but you know I think I've just burned out a little bit this week. I when I get home, I just can't seem to stay awake. I do work full time on top of YouTube, so I think I just need I just need to catch up on some sleep, and I'll be fine. I'll get a full video out for you guys on the Friday, but. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work really hard tonight in the next hour or, or probably two hours just to get these two videos out for you guys because I'm away from home tomorrow and I want to upload every single day for you guys without fail. So this video I'm showing you today, one I think is going to be quite interesting because you're going to listen to the 19 version, 19 year old version of me. Basically, at this point, when I made the video that I'm going to show you, I was discovering Nestarius, the Nestarius vanilla server, and I was rediscovering vanilla World of Warcraft as a whole during this video, and it is quite funny because I'm much younger and I sound a lot different. But yeah, it's just, and particularly in this video, I'm discovering class quests, the concept of a class quest, and I think I give a decent commentary on it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you it. Um, let's open Chrome. I'm just going to let it play. Apologies my mic goes off a little and, bit. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it more than retail. You'll have to listen to the younger version of me, but... Alright lads, it is the Metagoblin here. I even say Today, the star is wrong. Today, a bit cross between a discussion and story video. Um, I have some footage for you here. Now, this is me doing a class quest, uh, a level 10 qu uh, class quest to obtain a Searing Totem um, on a Shaman. Now this is recorded on a vanilla private server. So I just started playing on this um this server called Nostralius Wow and to be honest I am in, I am in utterly I'm like ecstatic at how much I'm enjoying it right now. The leveling is extremely challenging, extremely fun. And uh, yeah I'm enjoying it more than retail to be honest, if I'm gonna be honest with you. So anyway, um so I got my, I got this quest from the class trainer to learn the Searing Tome. Didn't just get it get it right randomly when I leveled up um, and I had to go find this guy in a hut which took me ages because I, you know I couldn't find him eventually I found him and he told me to go to this unique mountain path so I went up to this mountain path and there was like this really narrow kind of path all the way up to this mountain and it was just extremely extremely immersive because this area this this path was unique to shaman like only shaman have to go up here and um, only shaman would even know about it that's what you know adds about like it has it has that kind of special element to it. It's a really narrow path and you get a really good view up there. It's a really like beautiful immersive view. Anyway, I got to the top and this fella he tells me to obtain these two items. Now back then obviously you had to walk. I did a lot of walking. Um, I had to walk to like one side of Durata and I had to walk all the way to the Barrens. Like these these two locations were really far away. Is you know probably one of the criticisms of vanilla, but to be honest, I, 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 I don't know. It is it's annoying, but I still like it at the same time. I still love it because it's challenging and it it forces you to actually go out into the world. Um, so I got these two items eventually. Um, I died once trying to obtain one of them, and I, and I got back and I and um, I can't remember the, you know, the full story, but I'm trying to get a searing totem, and I got these two items from him so this guy could summon a fire elemental, which is basically like a miniature boss battle. That I had to solo, and bloody hell, it was difficult, right? Because I opened combat with him, um, I opened with my flame shock, and he was completely immune. Because uh, fire element, the game was a lot more challenging back then. You couldn't use fire against fire elementals because duh, it wouldn't do anything, would it? And I also had my flame tongue weapon up, so I just wasn't doing any damage to him, and he had to utterly wrecked me. Um, you really, I really needed a strategic game plan to take down this like mini boss, and because I died on this big mountain, the closest res place was the starting area. So I couldn't just like, I couldn't just go up to this place and res. Um, I had to walk, sorry, just had to clear my throat there because I talked for three minutes straight. Um, so I, I resed at the starting area and I couldn't just like, you know, I couldn't just go up that mountain path. I had to go all the way round from the starting area, all the way around Durata, all the way back into the Barrens. It took me ages, it was like a good 10 to 20 minute walk. And I eventually got up to the mountain path, all the way up to the mountain path and I resurrected and then I, I properly fought it out. 
Um, I managed, I had potions in my bag. Potions are the, like, the most useful thing. Like, they are actually useful in the game. I don't understand why they're still in the game, but, um, you know, because a health, a health potion, like, heals you nearly to full health. And you found, you found, found them in the world, you can make them with alchemy, and it was so useful for leveling, because a lot of the um, quests are really difficult to defeat, like the boss, like the unique mobs were always really difficult to defeat. But anyway, I put down my strength totem, um, Put them on my the rock biter uh, weapon enchant for shaman to increase my melee damage, um, and I didn't use flame shock. I opened with earth shock instead. But the thing is, like flame shock and earth shock have the same cooldown, so I couldn't you know, use both. So I ended up using just keep using earth shock and uh, wrecking him with my uh, my two handed staff, which does loads of damage, and eventually got him down. But I had to use a healing potion. Um, eventually got him down and killed him, and then. I fucked up because I thought I'd done the quest. Like I thought I'd done it, and I walked back down the hill, and I'm like, "Oh, right, I haven't done the quest." I had to go back up the hill and click this like fiery basin or some sort of thing. And I was like, "Oh crap!" I managed to pull the fire elemental again, and nearly killed me. I ran back down the mountain, and uh, I eventually escaped him because I did not want to bloody die again. I do that walk. It was I did like a really intense element of like fear and thrill I don't know because you know if you're gonna if you're gonna die you're gonna have like a 10 minute walk again so it was really um, quite nerve-wracking that's a better word but luckily another shaman who was doing the quest because this server is utterly it's mentally popular like in the starting area there's probably like a hundred people and I was doing like I was questing with like five other people in a group um, just to take it down with like really challenging mobs on the Echo Isles it was mental anyway the shaman he was doing his quest and um he took the aggro of the fire elemental, so it was happy days. And I just I helped him out a bit because I knew it was a hard quest. But he was level 12, and I, would, I did this at like level 10. Um, so yeah, um, that's another thing as well. You're meant to do it at level 12, even though you get the quest at level 10, which is mental. Anyway, I managed to get uh, light my torch on fire or some stuff, and I took it back down to the quest mob. And he told me to go back to the other guy. And then eventually I got my searing totem. And holy shit, was it worth it, because now... And doing a lot of nice dot periodic, periodic damage. Um, because I was really lacking on damage. I was like getting really, really low in health before I kill a mob. But now with this totem, I do my flame shock, I use my searing totem, and I've got a load of periodic damage. And then I've got my main hand, my melee damage as a shaman, because I'm going enhancement. And then, you know, filling with the earth shock, which does a lot of damage. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm knocking the mobs down pretty well now. So yeah, um,. So this quest, this uh, class quest, I mean, it's taken me ages to even go through it. It took, took me like an hour and a half to complete it in total. Um, you know, I was like, I was up to like three o'clock in the bloody morning. It was really, really intense and challenging. And I, fuck, I loved every second of it, even though it was a pain in the ass to walk everywhere. I loved it, it was fun. And shit like that, like this, should be put back into retail. Um, into live. It definitely should be, because it was... You know, it made you feel more like a shaman. Um, if you read the quest information, it was all about learning. It's like a learning curve. So you, uh, you even got like a quest, um, class quest, like at level, f I think it was like level five, um, to learn some. I don't think you had to learn something, but um, you'd learn some knowledge about earth elementals. And then in this quest, you're learning about the fire elementals. And then the next one, level 20, as it looks online, you're learning about air elementals or, it, or water elementals. So it's not about you like learning to be a shaman. You don't just like level up and then you get the skills. I mean, you have to like go into the world and talk to the elements and you know, gain their wisdom and stuff like that. And you have to make your own abilities. You have to make your totems. That's what I really like about it. You need items in your bag to even summon totems. If you uh, you know accidentally deleted them, you're fucked. Well, I think you can actually still buy them from a reagent vendor. But yeah. Um, so it makes you feel more like a shaman. It's more immersive. It's more challenging. It's just it's just a lot better. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop going on and on about it because I'm obviously like some nerd who's like having an absolute nostalgia fit. But anyway, um, expect I've got um, a, a leveling video on this villain server. Um, it's like this. It's, well, I'm 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 going to I'm, I'm going to leave it for a surprise. But anyway, my name is the Meta Goblin. Until my next video, ciao. Thank <laughs> you.